expect these people to understand this. But this explanation isn't for them. This is for you. Because you see, Daniel Bryan committed an act of betrayal. But, but that act was not last Tuesday, no. That act of betrayal was nearly three years ago when Daniel Bryan stood in front of all these people and announced his retirement. Daniel Bryan's betrayal occurred when he gave up on his dreams. <laughs> but the difference between Daniel Bryan and these people what? is that he does not accept failure. What? Daniel Bryan realized his mistake, he learned his lesson, and he decided to fight. He decided what? to fight. And so he went all across the country and saw all these different doctors, and under their recommendations, he spent three hours every single day inside of a hyperbaric chamber. What? And inside that cold, dark, enclosed chamber pumped with 100% oxygen, it was meant to speed up the healing process, but it did way, way more than that. What? It allowed Daniel Bryan the silence and the isolation he needed to meditate on his new mantra, fight for your dreams and your dreams will fight for you. that he 
didn't need these people for anything. And Daniel Bryan's dreams told him that at Survivor Series, he didn't need to beat Brock Lesnar to win. Daniel Bryan won by allowing Brock Lesnar to beat the weakness out of him. Daniel Bryan's dreams told him to allow Brock Lesnar to beat the weakness out of him and there would be a new emergence after that match. And there has been. You see, the old Daniel Bryan, the Daniel Bryan that these people loved, that Daniel Bryan is dead. The Yes Movement is dead. No, 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 no. And all, and all that's left is you. <laughs> the new Daniel Bryan. WWE Champion, the new Daniel Bryan!